man's wisdom gives him patience. It is to his glory to overlook an offense. Proverbs 19.11 In this busy and fast-paced world, none of us like to wait. Delays irritate us and aggravate our temper. We want what we want and when we want it. None of us find delays easy to accept. Put yourself in this situation. You are at the supermarket, busy winning ahead, long lines. You are wheeling your shopping trolley inch by inch and have come near the cashier's counter. The cashier is new on the job. Beads of perspiration on her brow reveal that she's tensed. As she starts billing your items, she finds that her cash register tape runs out. She's not sure how to change it. You are delayed. What's your response? It is time like this that our faith is tested. The best of our Christian growth occurs in mainstream of life, not in the quietness of a house. Anybody can walk in victory when we are in calm, silent, and comfortable surroundings. But those cues, those traffic snarls, that is where our faith is usually tested and even flashed out. But let's remember that a single royal virtue scarces diamond and more precious than rubies will immediately attract the world towards us and soften its spirit. And what is that quality? It is the ability to accept delay or disappointment graciously, calmly, quietly, and to smile back at setbacks. Let's ask God to keep us calm and cheerful, relaxed and refreshed, and be patient. The next time we wait to get cleared in the queue or have our car fueled, instead of getting impatient and getting irritated, let us use those minutes to think about some things we can be thankful for. By such expression, we would guard our soul and also our Christian testimony, bringing honor to our Father in heaven, and respond to delays with a pleasant, composed attitude, to be cool while others around us are fuming with anger. Let us pray. Dear Lord, give me the fruit of the Spirit, patience, the ability to accept delay or disappointment graciously and calmly. Let me not react with anger, but let me use those times of waiting to count my blessing and thank you, or to pray for the same. Amen. Have a patient day in Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs>